when you have faith in something and you're committed to it, you don't half-ass it. You do 100% of the work. And when you do 100% of the work and you put your 100% in, you get 100% back. Whatever you put in is what you get back. When you write it down and you have it with you, listen, your planner is like your second brain, okay? Your planner and your to-do list little book is your second brain. Because when, once that brain is freaking out, this brain will be like, listen, I've got you, okay? I've got you. I know what you need to do because you wrote it down and you kept it with you. If you're writing things down and you're leaving it at home, how are you going to remember? you got to bring it with you. That's what I would do. I would write things down and forget it. Then I'm like, nope, come home. you're coming with me everywhere I go. Hey guys, if you guys see me looking down in, in this video, I'm just reading my notes. I want a lot of information and I wanted to include everything in the video. I didn't want to forget anything. So if you guys see me looking down, that's why. Um, have a classmate's phone number. Someone who has the same work ethic as you and will you guys can meet up um, sometimes in the library so you guys could study together if that works for you. Um, um, have a planner, okay? Let me show you guys something. I will have a planner no matter what stage I'm in life because it helps me organize myself, helps me keep, um, you know, keep my life organized and also I'll also have like a separate little book because sometimes in my planner I write down so many things that I have to do, so many things that I need to get done. I'll also have like this separate little book, I'll put it in my planner, I'll have like my to-do list, I have like a whole bunch of crap in there that I wrote for yesterday, yeah. I have two things that I didn't do, but I, I need to get it done today. So, yeah. When you write it down and you have it with you, listen, your planner is like your second brain, okay? Your planner and your to-do list little book is your second brain. Because when, once that brain is freaking out, this brain will be like, listen, I've got you, okay? I've got you. I know what you need to do because you wrote it down and you kept it with you. If you're writing things down and you're leaving it at home, how are you going to remember? you got to bring it with you. That's what I would do. I would write things down and forget it. Then I'm like, nope, come home. you're coming with me everywhere I go. Throughout the day, I would check off my to-do list. You know, That would also make me feel like some, I would feel some sort of accomplishment by doing so and I will be encouraged to do more because I'm like, ooh, I'm getting things done. Let me get everything done. So yeah. Another thing I wanted to say before the exams, okay? I would go to the site an hour or two, sometimes three hours before, and I would just sit there. Because sometimes when I'm just like rushing, oh my god, I have an exam, I'm just rushing, rush, running to class, I'm like so stressed out and overwhelmed, and that doesn't help me. Um, but when I go there ahead of time, and I sit there, and I'm like relaxed, and then I review for the exam, then I'm like on a much better place. Um, be relaxed, don't run late, so you'll start freaking out. Um, Alright, another thing. When you're taking the exam, sometimes when when you're taking like the exams, right, and there's a PowerPoint question, make sure I met multiple choice question. If make sure you like cover up the potential answers and you try to answer it yourself, that way you get the right answer. Because sometimes you know the answer, but the other answers are confusing you. So cover it up, you know. Read the question and then answer it yourself, and then pick out your answer that that helps. And don't second guess yourself because sometimes you're first answer was the right answer you're just second guessing yourself study when it's best for you if you're a morning person study in the morning if you're a night owl study at night study the most difficult course at night throughout the day try to implement all the ways that you can incorporate studying excuse me take notes and write it into your own words review the material before class okay so you can be prepared you're not just jumping into class and not knowing what the teacher's talking about. You gotta be prepared before class, okay? Do all of your homework assignments, okay? Because sometimes the homework assignments, they are test questions that are taken out of the homework assignments. So you you gotta do all your homework assignments. Um, do a meetup before exams between classmates if that works for you, okay? Meet up do with your classmates if that works for you um and yeah like i was saying make a, make a routine of going to library um or anywhere else you prefer to study if it's a classroom i would say just don't go home because there's a lot of distractions at home and keep your return quizzes and tests 
or your final exam because sometimes this is exactly where the professor will go and find questions, okay? Like I was saying, stay organized. Write it down in your planner. Write things down that you have to do in your planner. What is due when. Have a to-do list daily, right? Keep it all with you so that you make sure you get all these things done. You're not always going to have it together, okay? You just have to keep pushing forward, keep grinding, keep fighting. And the only thing, the only time you have to look back is to see how far you've come, okay? Don't look back. Don't go. You're not going to go back there. It's not an option. Just keep pushing. And I would also say be 100% committed and have faith, okay? You can't put one foot in there, one foot in the tide and school and one foot... And what if you gotta put both feet in? You gotta put 100%. You gotta push it forward. Cause I guarantee you, all the people that have done that, they've like they didn't finish it. You know. So you just have to be committed. You gotta be. Even if you failed out and you wanna go back in, apply, reapply. Like you can get back in. I mean, you made it in anyway. You learn from your mistake and just keep going. When you have faith in something and you're committed to it, you don't half-ass it. You do 100% of the work. And when you do 100% of the work and you put your 100% in, you get 100% back. Whatever you put in is what you get back. Don't take criticisms from people you don't want to be like, okay? It goes to show you how other people will tell you things because even if, you know, they are your loved ones and stuff, um, if you don't want to develop their habits or be like them i would say don't take criticism from them because why are you creating why are you taking criticism criticism from somebody you that doesn't aspire you or who you want to be like some people all, some people always have something negative to say maybe they don't their intention is not to put you down but it gets that way based on their tone um so yeah um just tell them i love you but um no thank you one more thing i wanted to add um, everyone learns differently. There are four different type, types of learners. Um, I think we all learn those four different ways. Like I was saying, there are four different types of learning styles. Someone may be an auditory slash visual learner. Others may be an auditory kinesthetic reading and writing and visual learner. It doesn't really matter which one you are. It just use the one that works best for you is what I would say. Me. I fall into the category of auditory slash reading and writing and visual learner, okay? Kinesthetic also helps me too depending on what I'm doing. So just find out which one works for you and use it to your advantage. I know this girl who was a reading writing type of learner, so she would heavily use, she would heavily read and write her notes before an exam. Me, I would listen to lectures, right? Because that's what helps me, which is why the recording um, the lectures and listening to it along the way when I'm going home help me a lot okay I think that's it for the video if you guys have any questions let me know um, hit the like button if you like this video subscribe for more I have a lot more content coming up more related to um, the field of dental hygiene with my experience so far and yeah hit the like button let me know how you guys what you guys think of this video and I don't think I'm going to do my makeup all the time because it's really exhausting. I'm, like, it takes a lot of work for me to do just this. This could be simple for, for some of you guys, but in my 20s, I never really cared about makeup. I never really had time to do makeup, to be honest. And now I'm learning and it's exhausting. It's an exhausting process, so yeah. Um, I think that's all. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to make another video. I'm going to try to come up here more often you guys will see that i'm gonna make another video now okay because i have another thing that i want another topic i want to talk about so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video when you have faith in something and you're committed to it you don't half-ass it you do a hundred percent of the work and when you do a hundred percent of the work and you put your hundred percent in you get a hundred percent back whatever you put in is what you get back